Good afternoon. Welcome to Part-Time VN Class 21. We're going to be demonstrating the respiratory assessment. Before we get started, I'm going to uh, talk a little bit about the respiratory system. With the respiratory system, it is gas exchange, which is oxygen and carbon dioxide at the avillary capillary level. This function depends on the lungs' capability for contraction and con expansion which in turn is influenced by the musculoskeletal and neurological functions. Physical assessment of the patient's general health also includes the respiratory system. More extensive assessments are required for patients with acute or chronic respiratory or cardiac conditions. Those with allergic reactions or those who have recently undergone surgery or anesthesia. Because physical and emotional responses are often correlated, also inquired about any accompanying anxiety or stress. This information should be obtained in an unhurried matter of fact matter. The respiratory assessment includes subjective data, objective data, and now we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the respiratory assessment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the respiratory assessment. Um, first, you want to start off with any subjective data. what is being done, so I will be letting them know I'm, I am doing a respiratory assessment on you that um, involves uh, examining your chest and also your back and your face. Okay? Okay, so then you will start with the chest. Um, you want to make sure it's rising up and down um, symmetrically. You also want to look at his face to see if there's any um, difficulty breathing, any gas or prayer. Um, and from there, you would ask for the patient to would have his shirt off. Okay, so as I am um, looking at his chest, his, it does look like his chest is moving symmetrically. Once I am satisfied with that, I want to go around to the back and do the same and make sure that the back is moving symmetrically. And as you can see, it is. So from there, I want to go ahead and start um, with with palpation. So I will be placing my fingers on his back and feeling for vibration. So um, you want to go ahead and have the patient repeat the words 99. Can you go ahead and repeat 99 for me? Mm -hmm. 99. Once again? 99. And again? 99. And again? 99. Okay. So that would be the uh, palpation part of it. You would also want to go ahead and auscultate the lungs. Um, there are three lobes on the right, the right lung, and also there's two lobes on the left lung. So I'm going to go ahead and auscultate his lungs. 